Hello and welcome, Arts TV Gaming here. In today's episode, I want to show you how to build this medieval house. I have really tried to use a style I don't use very often. And to be honest, I am very happy with how this one turned out. You can see this is a quite lovely interior. And I've tried to do something a little bit more different than usual. As you can see, I went for a little bit more asymmetrical design with this interior. But again, I have tried to keep it simple so that it is easy to build along we got a kitchen over here a enchanting room over on this side a lot of storage on this side and on top over here we got the bedroom now you can definitely add a lot more rooms on top of this there will be a list in the description with the requirements for and once you got everything let's get started you want to have at least a 40 by 40 area let's start off we're going to outline it so first you want to add a dark oak wood block and then add seven strips of spruce wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you just want to add another dark oak wood. Now we're going to keep this amount for each side, but we're going to do a little bit of a tweak when we are at the center. Okay, now let's do the sides as well. Okay, now. At this point you just want to go in one extra block and we're going to go across from this point again you just want to have nine blocks in total okay now over here it's quite simple you just want to repeat the same thing again Okay, now if you have done correctly you will end up with a perfectly symmetrical area okay now what we're going to do is we're going to build up the walls by nine blocks in total so counting from this one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to build everything up and after that you want to fill it in as well Okay, now we're going to have a three wide area over here. So you just want to go in one block from the side, go up, and we're going to go up five blocks over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and you just want to go in one more row, just like this. Now we can repeat the same thing over on this side. And then here we're going to go up four blocks so one two three four and we're going to do the same thing again then let's add one more row in front of it okay now we got the basic shape almost in place now what, what we are going to focus on are the roofs so let's start off with the hardest ones which are going to be the big ones. So you just want to go in, go down and out. And let's go in and up. Once you're at this point, you want to add a full block on top. Okay, so let's first repeat it over here as well. Now the great thing is that we're going to use the same design for each side. So you have, you only need to remember it once. Okay, so let's go up and then in. And after that, again, we're going to add a full block, followed with some stairs. There we go. Now, once you're at this point, 
we're almost done. Okay, so let's add one more full block. Actually, you just want to add a stair. Put it with a full block on top. Okay, so this is the basic shape for the roof. And I actually forgot this side. Here we go. Now, this is the basic shape for the roof. Now, what we're going to do after that is quite simple as well. Just want to go in line with this. Then go up. And fill this all in. Then we're going to add one more stair over here. And a full block on top. Then again, another stair. And this is going to be the start of our roof. Once you got that, and you can just fill this in as well. Just like that. And we're going to do this for each one. Now, we are going to add another full row of blocks on top. Then, you just want to add your stairs again. We are going to use the same design like I said, but this is going to be a little bit smaller, obviously. So, let's go in and out. And once you are at this point, uh, let's actually add some full box over here and then you can just go up get the idea and we are going to end up with the same design anyway just because it's all symmetrical so don't worry about that now let's go back in here we go and then let's do the same thing over here as well but we're going to add again a full block on top. Thank you. 
and once you got all of this in it's going to be very easy to get the roof in and i'm going to show you this little area because each, each side is going to look exactly the same so it doesn't really matter okay so once you have done that you just want to take your stone bricks then take some stone bricks there and just add that in as well over here we're going to go for cobblestone get the idea just to break this a little bit up here we go and we're going to do this for the whole build Okay, so let's finish the roof design. You want to start with a wall, okay? And after that, you can add a an anvil. Now, this can be very expensive, so you can skip the anvil and use only cobblestone if you want to. But I'm going to do it this way. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this a little bit more in. So let's go in tomorrow with some wood. And you just want to go in line with this. Go up. Now we can get rid of this. And from this point, you just want to go up until this point. Okay, and then you just want to go until this point. 
then you just want to go ahead and place some deep slay stairs going in and you just want to go in over here and let's do the same thing on this side here we go now you can just fill this in as well if you want to just to hide this all Okay, now we're going to do this for each side so you can just continue from this point to make it easier but So next up we're going to add some glowstone so you just want to add one over here and another one over here on this side then you can take the oak trip doors place it in and open it up now if you want to you can even replace this whole row with some glowstone which is actually what i'm going to do Okay, then at the center we are going to add some dark oak and on the remaining sides we are going to add some oak trapdoors again. Then on top, we're going to go up over here and we're well, actually over here and over on this side. Then let's go in and up. Okay, then you just want to go in over here. So you want to go ahead and add a stair at the center. Let's do it over on this side. Go in and up. After that, we are going to add a full block again. Okay, so let's add two more stairs and add full blocks just like that. Okay, then we're going to go up again. So after that, you want to add some cobblestone wall going up, followed with two lanterns on the sides. And then add some stairs over here as well. Then at the center, you want to add a beacon. So let's build this up and then place a beacon as well. Now, if you want to, you can even place two. two. It doesn't really matter.
we are going to go in three blocks from the sides and two blocks from the top so one two we go and let's go across and then what we're going to do is quite simple we're going to make a simple and then you just want to go in uh, here we go Okay, once you got that you can add your stairs and i'm going to use the dark oak stairs for this then go ahead and place some iron bars on top we go and then you just can add some iron doors on top of this as well okay after that at the center you just want to go and add a pillar okay then take the lecterns and you just want to place it in as well Okay, so let's do this for each one. Okay, now we're going to add some spruce wood going up. Here we go. And then we're going to light this area up by using a lantern. Here we go. Then if you want to, you can even add two more lanterns over here. Okay, then on this side, we're going to add two more fences and just two make this line with the blue over there we're going to add some entrance at the center here we go now we're going to do this for each side
we go once you've got that in place what we're going to do is we're going to add some fences and some windows so let's start off with the big windows on the sides we just want to take these out we're going to have a two wide window on each side then you can take the trap doors and we're going to go up on the sides just like that let's do it over here as well I'm going to use the light gray stained glass paint for this, but you can use whatever glass you want to. Okay, then let's connect these sides together. Let's do it over here as well. Just like that. Now, if you want to, you can even add a beacon over here and over here as well. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to add some mossy stairs as well. And you can add some mossy cobblestone if you want to. And we're going to add some windows over here at some point. Okay, so let me quickly do this for each side. Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to add some fences and decorate the entrance. So first off, I want to get rid of this area over here and let's get rid of this as well. Okay, now I'm going to use some fences going up on the sides. And for the windows, we're going to do the same thing. You just go up on the sides of the windows. Now, what we're going to do over here is a little bit different. Okay, then you just want to add a composter and a barrel if you want to. And then you can even add some leaves on top as well. Okay, so this is the basic decoration for each window. Only at the entrance side, we're going to add some more lecterns. Okay, let's do it over here as well. Okay, now for the entrance, we're going to get rid of these blocks and you can add a door. Like that or if you want to you can use this whole area as a entrance to do so you just want to take the oak trapdoors we're going to place that sides going up here we go and then you can just take now let's get rid of this after that we're going to make a art shape using some fences again Let's add it in over here as well. Then you can just go ahead and place some stairs. Then over here, we're going to have three doors, just like that. Then on the back side, you can just add some closed stone. Then again, we're going to add some dark oak fences going up. Just like this. And then I'm going to use regular lanterns to light this up. Here we go. On the back side, we're going to do the same thing. 
So just go up with some fences. And then at the center again. Just like that. And let's light this up again. Then we're going to have a window over here. One more over there. And if you want to, you can even add windows over here as well. Then let's simply add some glass. Okay, now on the opposite side, we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, over here, we're going to make a storage area inside of a entrance. But the decoration is going to be exactly the same. Okay, once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to add some more lecterns over here, going across, going in, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple pathway as well. And I'm going to use some dirt for this. Now I'm going to add some decoration, I'm going to add some petals and some leaves as well. And I'm going to use some orchids and some roses, but you can definitely use whatever you want to. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some leaves over here as well, just to break this up a little bit. Go and let's have some more over here. Okay, now if you want to, you can even add some on these sides. And maybe a couple over here as well. Okay, so let's add some walls as well. <laughs> Only for the entrance area, let's make this go out a little bit more. Here we go, and over here you can just add it underneath, going across. Just like that, just to add a little bit more depth. Okay, now we're going to add a fence over here. And then you would just want to skip two blocks, add another fence, followed with some stairs. 
Then on top, you just want to add some iron trap doors. Then on the back side, you can just add some birch slabs. And to light it up, we are going to add some lanterns. Okay, add some more fences over here. And then after that, you can add some trap doors and open it up. Then if you want to, you can even go down one more block, just like that. Okay, so let's do this for each side. If you want to, you can. Okay, now to start off, what you want to do is you want to replace the floor with some stripped or coke wood. So let me quickly replace this all and then after that we are going to continue. Okay, once that is in place, we are going to make a staircase going up. Okay, so you just want to go in four blocks from this point. So one, two, three, four, and you just want to start here with the stairs. Make sure that you have this at the center, like so, and you can build the sides up. Until this point okay then let's go out until this point over here so the second floor is going to have this area and let's repeat it on this side there we go and let's add the stairs in as well Okay, then let's build up the sides. Okay, let's take some oak fences and place it in as well. Then on the sides, what you want to do is you want to leave these sides out so that we can access this area. Okay, over here, you can just go in. Okay, now let's add some fences again. Okay, so let's light this up. Here we go, and let's add two more lanterns on the sides over here. Okay, now let's focus a little bit more on these sites. I will have a lot of storage at the entrance because I think this is going to be the main area. So let's decorate the sites a little bit first. So you just want to make an L shape going in. After that, build the sites up. Okay, and then you just want to go in line with these blocks and go up again. Okay, let's add some fences as well. Okay, then add a row of stairs on top of this. And then after that, you want to add two more going in like so. Go and then you can build up the center to this point. And then you just want to have some fences as well. Okay, add lanterns on the sides, followed with two slabs like this. Okay, on the sides, we are going to have paintings as well. So you just want to go in and go up okay let's add a wall over here and over here as well and then you just can simply place some paintings over here you just want to go up okay then take your stairs again and place it in here we go and then on the sides you just want to go up like this 
and you want to make sure that this is symmetrical so you want to have some blocks of space on the sides and then if you want to you can even add some fences for decoration and at the center we are going to add two lanterns Now let's decorate these sides, which is going to be quite simple because we're going to go in line with this block. Well, actually this row over here. So let's indicate this first. Here we go. Okay, now let's do it over here as well. Okay, then you can just simply add some fences again. Okay, once that is done, what you want to do is you want to add it on top as well, over here. And then we are going to add some full blocks just to cover this up. And of course, you want to do it over here as well. Okay, then you just want to switch to jungle fences and place it in as well, followed with lanterns. Now, I do understand that having too much uh, fences is going to look a little bit crowded. So what you might want to do is you want to get rid of this row, on the sides, just to give us some more space to work with. Okay, and we can use different stuff to decorate it. Okay, now once that is all in place, we still need to decorate these top sides. So let's simply add some lanterns and some fences as well. Okay, once that is done, what we need to do is we need to focus on these corners over here. Like I said, we got a staircase going up to this area, which is going to be a bathroom. And on this side over here, we can have an enchanting room. And over here we can have a storage room, which is going to be quite simple. So first off, I want to focus on the storage area over here. So let's get rid of this. Let's build up the corners. And you just want to go all the way up. Don't worry about it. We are going to make sure that each area is going to be accessible. So, But first, let's build in this side. Okay, once that is done, let's do the same thing over here as well just to indicate just to indicate that it is a room okay so we can just simply go up and down here we go now let's go down even one more block once that is done you just want to add some fences this time we're not going to go too much overboard with it we just want to add it in like this and then let's like this up like this okay then take the black zone wall and we're going to add it on the sides like i said we are going to do this so that we have a different color okay then if you want to you can even do it on the sides going all the way up okay now let's do the same thing for the entrance Okay, then let's go in. Then you just want to go in again. Okay, once that is done, you can add your fences again. And then add your lanterns as well. Okay, to start off, we're going to add a row of food blocks. Going in. Okay, then add barrels. 
first. Okay, once that is done, what you want to do is you want to take your chests, place it in. And over here, we are going to do the same thing, but this time we are going to have a row of battles going up. Okay, then you just want to take your stairs again. We're going to go in twice. Now we still need a way to access these chests on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to create or make a simple staircase. Actually, I'm going to make a simple ladder going up so that we can access this. Let's take some ladders. Let's place it in going up. And then let's add some stairs over here as well. Okay, then to light this up, you just want to add two glowstone on the sides. Do it over here as well. Take your oak trapdoor and place it on top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in these sides. So first of all, this is going to be enough space to work with. So let's take the barrels again and let's place it in. So we are going to add the chests like this. And then we are going to leave the top side open for now. And then take your stairs again. Place it in. Just like so. And over here we are going to do the same thing. Okay then, on this side you just want to add petals going up. Just like that. And then on the sides... We're going to add fences, and of course, we are going to light it up with some lanterns. And then over here, we're going to have an enchanting room. So let's outline this as well as we have done over here. Okay, so first we need to place the enchanting table, which is going to be right here. Then let's surround this with some bookshelves. Then let's build up this side and we are going to leave the window empty. And then once you're at this point, you just want to go in and up. Take some oak leaves or any other leaf, it doesn't matter, and place it in as well. And you don't have to do it in the perfect order. You can just pl randomly place it in. Let's do it over here as well. Now you can even add some leaves over here just to decorate this. Okay, so you can replace some blocks with some leaves. Okay, now we still need to light this up. So we are going to use the same design. We are going to use some fences just to light this all up. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical. So you can light it up this way if you want to. 
let's even add some more leaves slide this up and if you want to you can even add lanterns on top of this okay so let's add a battle a crafting table and of course an anvil as well as a grindstone what i'm going to do over here is building a cooking area but first we need to add the floor for the second floor in so let's go in and let's fill this Okay, then at the center, we are going to add shulker boxes going up. Uh, let's do it over here as well. And over here. This is going to be the cooking area. So let's add some black concrete. Okay. And you just want to extend this until this point. Do the same over here. And then we're going to add it on top as well. You want to take the trapdoor, just place it on top. Okay, and underneath of this, you just want to do the same thing. Okay, let's add some buttons. Okay, and on these two sides, you just want to add campfires. And then add two furnaces over on these two sides, followed with some walls going up. So once that is done, let's move in and let's build in the bedroom. So first, again, you just want to go and outline this. Then take the black concrete again. You just want to go up. Well, we only have space for one bed, which is okay. Let's place our bed on top, followed with a shulker box at the edge. Then go ahead and add some upside down stairs on the sides. Take the dark oak trap doors, place it in, go up. Let's add some full blocks on the sides. We still need some storage over here as well. So let's add two battles. Then add a lantern to light it up. You can have paintings just to decorate this as well. Okay, then you just want to add some leaves going up. Now, you can just randomly place them. You don't have to make sure that it is perfectly lined up. Make sure that you spread them out evenly. And of course, you want to do the same thing over here as well. You just want to take some dark oak wood and place it in. Well, actually, you want to add some decoration to the floor with this dark oak wood as well. Now we can get rid of the torches. And that's it. Now, as you can see, it is a quite lovely design. And I have tried to keep the height in as well. And hopefully you all enjoyed this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.